Hello everyone. This video in the Traders Indicator series discusses average true range, a subset of support and resistance, and how it factors into price behavior during trends and sideways consolidations, an integral component of the Traders Toolbox and crucial for manual trading. Average true range factors into the potential price movement in a given trading session, whether it be Asia, Europe, or North America. Let's have a look. Starting with the dollar Canada, this is the daily chart. I've put the average true range below the chart. On the chart itself, you see the wave counts from the Elliott Wave desk. Below the chart, we see the average true range 14 day and 100 day. So this is the average true range of the last 14 days of trading and the last 100 days of trading in Magenta. What it tells us is how volatile this trading pair is. If we look from when the data started for the average true range 14 day, we see in this, what we see on the chart ranges from December 2018 until August 2019, so the last nine months or so. And we see that the top end of the range would be the most volatile price action within a daily range for over the 14 days prior to that. And then the lowest just occurred recently right over here in this area in at the end of July. Right now, we're sitting at roughly 75 pips per day on average for the trading session. So what that means is that if we look at the last 14 days of data, the dollar Canada moves on average 75 pips a day. Now if we look down to the 100 ATR, the dollar Canada moves on average 63 pips I'm just moving my cursor along the bottom here, on average over the last 100 days, down from a high of, I can't really tell what this is, probably 85 or 90 pips. The average true range tells on average what the day's trading range will be based on historical data, and when an instrument is volatile, it's likely to be trading at the higher end of the ATR during a defined period, such as 100 days. When volatility compresses, so does ATR, and traders will often comment that the market is slow. But beware, because after quiet times comes volatile times, all it takes is a change in fundamentals or a significant news to wake up the market. The average true range is used by day traders to approximate the daily price movement on average. For example, for currency traders trading on the New York market, it's important to look at the overnight trading range to gauge the move during New York. If the 100-day and 14-day ATR is 75 pips and the market already moved 75 pips overnight since the 5 o'clock opening levels the day before, then traders will likely decide that the trading day will be range-bound, especially if no major news is being released. If, however, the market was quiet overnight and news is expected in New York, traders can easily expect a volatile trading session and look for price to break out from the narrow overnight range. And these are skills that a trader can learn just by observing the market moves day in and day out. Fibonacci retracements and pivot points are additional support and resistance tools. They will not be covered in detail here. The reason why support and resistance works is because many traders are making trading decisions by looking at the same tools and indicators and plotting them on their charts, either manually or with programs. When enough traders believe that price should stop at a certain level because of the numerous support points, technical indicators, or the results of their analysis techniques, it usually does, even if only briefly. The herd mentality that drives the market is the reason why support and resistance can be called a self-fulfilling prophecy and therefore has predictive qualities. And there have been numerous articles written about this topic, and we will be touching on it more in future articles and videos. That concludes this mini lesson on ATR. If you're day trading, it's a really, really important tool to use. 
so you see what the trading range, the average historical trading range has been, and you can use that to anticipate what the current range will be, especially if you're day trading. The charts that I'm using are Motive Wave charts, FX Trader's Edge, and the Elite Wave Desk fully endorse Motive Wave. We've used Motive Wave charts since since their inception. For a two-week trial, please go to bit.ly forward slash capital E, capital W, charts. So bit.ly forward slash EW charts. If you need some extra help with it, please contact us at support at fxtradersedge.com. The other thing that I want to point out is that FX Traders Edge and the Elite Wave Desk use the Elliott Wave-based trading strategy called the Wavy Tunnel Pro. If you'd like to learn more, please go to wavytunnelpro.com. Thank you so much. Have a great trading week, and we'll see you next week.